An active start to severe season 2024 here in the state of Michigan with two tornadoes already occurring, one near Grand Blank in EF2 and one near Marshall in EF1, almost EF2 on that one, just one mile per hour shy of reaching the EF2 status. So significant tornadoes happening here in Michigan early in the season sparked a lot of discussion on our posts, on our page, in the comment sections, in our community posts. How can you guys stay safe? How can you guys plan, prepare, and act in the event of severe weather? We are entering the Severe Weather Preparedness Week here in Michigan. We're going to have a tornado siren drill coming up here really very soon. So it's going to be a statewide recognized week of just severe weather safety. So to honor that, we're going to do our part here at MSC. We're going to bring to you guys what we suggest you guys have in your preparedness kits, sources, and guides to how to you can stay up to date with severe weather, and also how to put, the, put a plan together, good areas to shelter, bad areas to shelter, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to cover it all, okay? A three-part series here. This is going to be part one, showing you guys how to get your information, okay? First and foremost, you're going to probably, you, you've probably been following our page here on Facebook probably for a little while, okay? You'll see us post a lot on Severe Weather Days about the SPC, short for Storm Prediction Center. A lot of the outlooks that we post are from this website. This is a government website. They are the official National Weather Service people all across the United States that issue these forecasts. They call them convective outlooks or just severe outlooks for, for easier terms. Okay. So how can you look at this forecast? Hop on your phone, computer, laptop, whatever. Hop up into the search bar and type in spc.noaa.gov. spcnoaa.gov. Okay, hit enter, and that is going to bring you to this website. This website is your homepage for your Storm Prediction Center information. There's a lot going on here. We're going to focus on one thing. Down here in this little box, this map here, click the COV or CN, CONV Outlook, this tab right here. Click that. This is going to bring up this page. This is your convective outlook or your severe weather outlook, okay? I'm making this video on March 11th. So the current day one outlook is for today, March 11th. I click that and there's nothing on this map except a little tiny uh, thunderstorm risk, not severe, but a thunderstorm risk up here in Northwestern, uh, the US here by Oregon, Washington areas, okay? If I were to go back here to day two, you're gonna see this these green areas here for thunderstorms and the dark green here, that is your level one of five. Now you're probably thinking level one of five, what does that mean? Let's go over that. SPC risks are as follows. Level one is marginal risk. That's going to be dark green. The lighter green is just general thunderstorms, okay? Slight risk, level two is yellow. Level three is enhanced risk. It's orange. Level four is moderate risk. It's it's uh, red. High risk is very rare. It's purple, okay? Now, I want to note, just because Michigan doesn't often get moderate and high risk days does not mean we do not get severe weather. A lot. In fact, I'll go as far as to say most of my chasing tornadoes here, not only in Michigan, but also the Great Lakes region, I think I'm going to say 80% of the tornadoes that I have occurred or have seen, should I say, have happened on marginal and slight risk days. I see a lot of people on our page on severe weather days saying, oh, it's just a marginal risk or it's just a slight risk. It doesn't seem too high. Okay. Th that's valid, but it's not really valid at all because just because the risk is a marginal or a slight risk does not mean that the threat for a tornado or that a threat for large hail or strong winds is any less. More so, these risks are relaying how widespread and how long lived these systems are going to be. Okay. So, for example, a marginal or slight risk will usually encompass a smaller area than what an enhanced risk and a moderate risk or even a high risk would. Okay. When we get to those enhanced, moderate, and high risk, that is when we start getting like a widespread, like, everybody's got to be on alert day, okay? But marginal and slight risks are uh, generally less population affected and doesn't really affect the overall threat. You can still have a threat for tornadoes and also large hail and damaging winds, even with these lower end risks. So take every risk seriously. These are more so just uh, in terms of the intensity and length of the system uh, expectation, more so than the actual hazards expected. So with that being said, we have now covered the SPC outlook. Let's go back to the map here. Let's go ahead and utilize this. So the day one didn't have anything. So we're going to go to day two. This is your categorical risk. So you're going to have three tabs, four tabs, sorry. These black tabs up here, categorical, tornado, wind, and hail. 
Okay. You're going to have these tabs on day one and day two outlooks. Day three will only have categorical and probabilistic. Okay. We'll cover that here in a second. But overall, day two, we see a very small area here in a marginal risk down here in Missouri, Kansas, and Oklahoma. Okay. That's your marginal. That's going to be called your categorical. Now, if we were to go hover over the tornado tab, we're going to see that there is no designated area for tornadoes for today. It says less than 2% all areas. Okay. So now we go to hail and wind. Let's go to wind first. We're going to see, boom, there's your 5% risk for the marginal. That's going to be for hail or for, sorry, for wind. And now we hover, hover over the hail tab. We're going to see it's basically the same area. Nothing really changes between the wind and hail. So this risk on day two for tomorrow, March 12th, 2024, is primarily for wind and hail. Okay. If there was a tornado risk, it'd be in green at the 2% risk, and then red is going to be the 5% risk. Okay. But as we see, there's nothing here in the map. So overall, it's just a wind and hail threat right now for the day two outlook. Okay. Now let's go to day three. Day three is a bit different. And I'll show you why. So you're going to see categorical and probabilistic tabs. There's no tornado, wind, or hail tab, and that is because there is no tab there that is meant to be that way. Day three is just kind of meant to be a broad outlook. Specifics happen on day two, and that's very smart of the SPC to do because a lot of times we see these systems downtrend or uptrend in that day three or day two time frame. So they want to have more confidence before they release uh, prob probabilistic like tornado, wind, and hail outlooks. So those will only occur on day two and day one. Day three is just a general outlook. And also, if you guys want to go future, very rarely in here in Michigan do we get a day four to eight outlook. But there is also a day four to eight outlook. And we can see here, for example, there is a day four outlook down here in Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. That's going to be a 15% slight risk. Okay. Now, keep in mind that the day four to eight risks do not have anything less than slight risk. So there's probably going to be a marginal risk added around these areas. Just for an example. So if we had a 15% slight risk up here in Michigan, just keep in mind we're probably going to have a risk expanding around that 15% contour area. And also, that when you get into the day four to day to eight time frames, a lot of these systems will shift around. So just Keep in mind that when we see a day four to eight outlook here in Michigan or even the region, just keep in mind changes are likely going to happen between that time frame and we hit the day three, day two time frames. So with that being said, that is your main way to get severe weather information. You're not going to get alerts from this website. You're just going to see the future outlooks for this. Okay. So you can hop on there and say, okay, well, I got, there's a risk close to Michigan here on day two or day three or whatever. I should be on alert and keep checking this website or keep checking my sources. Uh, there's many different sources. You can follow our page on Facebook, Michigan Storm Chasers. We'll have updates regarding these threats. There's many pages across Michigan. There's local news stations that are going to be covering this. There's multiple ways to view this source and get information regarding severe weather upcoming in the state of Michigan. So with that being said, that is part one. That is your main way, your main website to receive information about upcoming severe weather. Now, there are many other things we're going to cover here. This is just part one. Part two, I'm going to focus on preparedness. So now that we established we have a threat, for example, what is the next step? Okay. With that being said, that is part one. I hope you guys come back for part two. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the like button for me and stay safe.